Hey, it's W5HRO again here for a quick update. I have been working on this RF deck and I've got exactly 400 watts out now on 40 meters and I'm getting just a little over 400 watts out on 75. And what I did is I was playing around with that, that, that strap and I measured the one I had in there. It was actually a little bit less inductance than this 10 meter coil from, from one end to the other where it goes down to the cap. So I actually had less C using that uh, strap that I made that I wrapped around the 2x4 to shape it. So I thought I want to try it because I thought, well, maybe on 40 meters or well, the other bands, maybe the, uh, the, 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 you know, the, uh, the reduction in uh, the, uh, you know, the inductance of it was going to, you know, uh, uh, alter my efficiency. So maybe that's why I'm seeing low plate current. What, well, basically what this meter is, this is actually cathode current coming from the center tap of the uh, filament transformer on the 4400. And it's cathode current, so it should be ca it should be plate current plus screen current. And I'm only seeing like 260 milliamps. That's what I cannot figure out. I did correct the loading. Now I've got it to where when I'm on this first position on 40, you'd see the... Uh, this one here is somewhere, you know, close to the center of the, of the, of the range, which is the way I had it before. And when I get on 75, I think it's the same. But if I transmit, I'm getting a full 400 watts exactly. But the screen current is too high. It's, you know, because it starts out on the left side of that zero. So it's probably at least 40 mils. And that's, I think, the max, maybe the max current on the screen is 60 mil. I think it's 40, though. I got to look at the data sheet, but that's maxed out. But see the plate current where it's dipped, it's too low. And I'm trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Because years ago when I used to load this thing, I could get it to go up above the 330 mils and I would back it down via the loads. I don't know what's happened. It's probably the tank circuit with the clamp tube is, is messing up the screen. But the thing is, years ago, oh, you know what? Years ago, I only ran 400 volts on the screen. So uh, maybe that's that might be why I was reading higher plate current. Maybe it's always been low like this, and I just never knew it. Because so I've been trying to rack my brain. I mean, I'm getting almost full power out of this thing with a two uh, two thousand volt plate supply up for for class C amp for uh, AM phone uh, at two thousand volts. The output should be uh, uh, what is it? it it's uh, uh, 456 you know watts that's output this is a cg tube this is a heavy duty carbon graphite 4 400 it's got more plate dissipation but why i'm seeing it's like it's reducing it's like it's plate current minus the screen current is what it's turning out so maybe that's what's happening i can't the screen if this plate current would come up the screen current would go down and vice versa that's what's happening so I'm trying to uh, figure out what it is. Now, now that I changed the loading and everything and I got everything, what I was doing before was too, I was just adjusting this loading knob for the current on the, on the meter and I wasn't looking up at the power. So when I started picking it for max power after I changed the loading, that one cap, it, it took care of it. But this, the, the cathode current is way too low. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. Um, but, uh, it, it's working, but I just don't understand why it's doing that. So I'm going to have to play with it. But one thing I noticed is once I did all that and I got the power up all the way up, up to the full 400 volts here on 40, the, uh, the regulators, see, they just, they want a light look. They won't even stay lit now. So I think what's happened is, is I think that 40K of dropping resistance still may not be enough. And that may be the source of my problem. So uh, let me, I'm going to stop the video here and I'm going to reload it up again on a 75, down 75, and let's see what the difference is now. Okay, here's a 75 meter tune up and uh, I'm getting just a hair bit over 400 watts. It's like about maybe 410 watts out now. It's a little higher than it was yesterday. And I've got just a little more plate current compared to 40, but it's just like maybe 10 mils higher. And see the screen current's still too high. This is what I don't understand, and I think it's got to be that uh, it's got to be the dropping resistance isn't low enough to get the uh, the full voltage on the screen. That's probably what it is. That's why it's doing what it's doing. I hope. See, they don't light. They, yesterday they were lit up brighter than that. See, they're really dim. They're like they were on 40 yesterday. And I blew the fuse in my little cheap meter that I bought yesterday. That meter is only good for like 600 volts. 
and I popped the fuses. I just got to go out in the garage, take it apart, and replace the fuses. But I ordered another meter that'll handle like 1500 volts DC by itself with no uh, no attenuation probes. So I'm going to use that because it was what I was using was borderline yesterday. So I think I'm going to measure the screen voltage as soon as I get that new meter. It's supposed to be here tomorrow, I think. It's just something on Amazon, those cheap ones. It was like 25 bucks. So I'll try that one and see what that does. Then I need to check the uh, the grid, uh, the negative grid voltage when I apply full grid drive. I, I never, you know, it dawned on me, I never did put a meter and measure to see how far that voltage was going down. That could be another issue. So I'm going to look at that. But one thing I did was, is I did go ahead and I ordered another one of those uh, 200 Ks. That resistor I found, that surplus place, you can still buy them new in the box. So I've ordered another one. It's like eight bucks. They're not that much. So I'm going to put in our 200K resistor. I'm just going to put it right across that other one. That should drop it down to like 33K of dropping. Maybe that'll bring it back up. But I have a hunch it's too low. So when I measure the voltage uh, tomorrow when that meter comes in, I'll see what it is. And chances are it dropped down below 5. That's probably what's happening. But the other thing that dawned on me in my last video where I was talking about putting the series caps on that strap to... Uh, try to, uh, you know, get it to, so I can dip it on 20 and 17. It dawned on me where I was talking on about that those jumpers on top of that coil I was going to move to try to change the inductance. It dawned on me I can just put the caps right there so when I change bands, it'll automatically throw a cap in line with the one and then it'll throw a cap in line with the other as I, as I go higher up in frequency, right? So that's, that's probably, I don't think that short strap from the bottom of that cap to the the, uh, the inductor is going to make it probably won't it probably won't really affect it all that much so i can put the caps up there and i ordered some caps i found some little small doorknobs but they have leads on them they're small ones they're like 15k doorknobs but they're 250 picofarads i can just put like you know four or five of those in series because it, it looks like the length the way i can put them together they're like little molded doorknobs with leads on them and they're very small so I think I could fit some of those in series together, you know, and that would work too. And I found some little ceramic ones, but they're only 10 kV, and that 10 kV is a little light. I want at least 15 kV or more, then plus, you know, when they're in series, it makes a difference. But we're also talking about RF current, so you have to take that into account. It's not the same as the other. Uh, but uh, that's what I'm going to do. I think I can get the thing to dip on the higher band just by putting caps right there where those little straps are from the switch connections to the coil itself where I said I thought they used silver solder. I'm just going to remove those two straps. I'm going to try the 20 meter one first. I'm going to just remove that. I'm going to solder it from the coil and do the screw at the other end. I'm just going to use like an eyelet with the, those caps soldered across there in series. I'm going to see if I can make it dip. If I, that might be the solution. I could always put a single doorknob in there, but the problem is trying to find doorknobs that are that small in value. I need like, what, 20 picofarad ones or something, or, 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 or less, maybe a little more. And that's, <laughs> you, it, that's hard to find doorknobs that small and that size at higher voltage. And most of the doorknobs are, are, are bigger are bigger value than that. They're like, you know, 500 picofarad, 1,000 picofarads, and so on. You can get them like those 250s that I found, but still, it's... It's harder to, to find the really small value ones unless you pay for them. So that's where I am at on this thing. I'm going to wait for that new voltmeter to come in so I can check the screen voltage tomorrow and then the negative grid voltage and see where it is. And if the screen voltage is still too low, then i got to put that other resistor in when it comes next week. And then when those caps, I should have those caps in next week about the same time. So, so hopefully after I get the, uh, the goal is I should have a lot more. I mean, this is as, that's as high as I could get the plate current was, you know, the cathode current. It should be that plus the screen, right? So why is it so low? And I mean, I, I used to run this thing, you know, the plate current on the tube is supposed to be 330. Well, I just, I used to run it, the cathode current right at 300 mils. I used to, I used to get, you know, make it easier on the secondary, the, the, the modulation transformer. And it used to sound fine, but it's, you know, I don't know why it came out so low. And it's got to be because the screen voltage is so low. It's still, it's a lot, it's a lot higher than what it used to be, but it's not up at the full 500 volts yet. So, uh. I mean, cathode current does equal plate current uh, plus screen current, right? It's not minus, right? Because if it was minus, that would be <laughs> that would be what's going on. But basically, the plate current, the cathode current, should be a lot higher than that. If what I remember, if I remember it correctly, it's cathode current plus screen current, 
or it's, it, it's, it's screen current plus plate current equals cathode current, right? At least that's the way I remember it. Maybe I have it backwards, but I, I, I don't think so. I think it's plus, right? So that's where I am on this thing, and uh, I've just about got it going. I mean, I'm getting a lot of power. I'm getting well, way more power than I used to years ago. When I used this thing in Tulsa, I used to get barely 375 watts on 75. So now I'm getting a little over 400, so it's, it's more efficient than what it was, but still, it's a little low. It's a little light, so I've still got a little bit more work to do. But you can see on the loading now, I've got this thing where it's not, it used to be all the way on one side. But that second cap, that one still needs that second string. That When I go here, I got two, two doorknobs in series, two of the 450s in series. This one's a 450. I need to reduce that one down a little bit too. I think both of those, I can't remember if I had two, two sections in series or not. But I think... I should probably change out that one doorknob to something a little, maybe like a 300 pico or a 350, and that would probably center this thing up in the middle. But it's, it's, you can see where it is. It's, it's still, it's, it's the capacitor. The loading cap is meshed. I don't know if you can see up in there. No, it's too dark. Well, there it is on that side, but it's, yeah, it's pretty well meshed. It is pretty well meshed, so I guess it's fine. I guess what I have on there is fine, but it's not going to bring that cathode current up. That's what's strange. So it's got to be a drop in screen voltage, and I need to double check to see where that negative grid voltage is. Because I have like a 17.5K resistor in there on the grid. Maybe it's, you know, I'm getting proper current, but maybe I need to adjust it a little bit. That could be part of the problem, too. So that's it for now. This is W5HRNO, still plugging away at it.